Hi everyone! In this short video, I will share very useful information about standards of building information modeling and the content of PAS 1192 and ISO 19650. Knowing BIM standards is progressively becoming more essential across the building sector. Standards define the acceptable level of quality, also different regulations, legal documents, guidelines and definitions are embedded into standards. Knowing BIM standards, we can learn about best practice for BIM implementation. The initial BIM standard used in the UK was called PAS 1192, which was a transition guidance to the current BSEN ISO 19650 standard. PAS, or publicly available specifications, are guidelines codes of practice or standards that are fast developed to fulfill immediate needs of the industry. After two years, they will be checked on different cases and revised to form ISO standards. BIM standards include definitions that help us communicate, set quantitative and measurable goals and milestones in the BIM process, facilitate international collaboration on BIM projects, and help the built environment professionals achieve more efficient and effective implementation of BIM. In 2013, PAS 1192 Part 2 standards were published. This important document includes content around collaboration process in a BIM project, including roles and responsibilities of different stakeholders specific naming convention templates, methodologies to facilitate effective data use, data sharing and data management, graphical and non-graphical data and documents, and finally BIM maturity levels. This document was then reviewed to shape the current ISO 19650 BIM standard published in 2018. ISO 19650 is a series of international BIM standards that define the collaborative process for the effective management of information. It is related to the delivery and operational phase of assets when using building information modeling. The ISO 19650 series enable teams to minimize wasteful activities and increase predictability around cost and time, which you know are absolutely essential in all projects. This diagram by UK BIM Framework gives you a clear overview of different ISO 19650 documents. From the UK BIM Framework website, you can find free resources about BIM standards to download. UK BIM Framework is an excellent example of collaboration between policymakers, British Standards Institution, Academia, Centre for Digital Build Britain and Industry, UK BIM Alliance. In the transition from PAS 1192 to ISO 19650, new international terms were used for BIM standards. To use the BIM standard, it is good to first familiarize yourself with the terms used and their definitions. You may be more familiar with the UK terms, such as supplier, which is appointed party, or client, which is appointing party in ISO 19650. BIM standard ISO 19650 part 1 is about concepts and principles. Different sections of this document include terms and definitions, definition of information requirements and resulting information models, delivery team capabilities and capacity, a set and project information, perspectives and collaborative working, the information delivery cycle, Information Container-Based Collaborative Working Project and Asset Information Management Functions Information Delivery Planning Managing the Collaborative Production of Information and Common Data Environment CDE Solution and Workflow 
In ISO 19650 Part 1 document, there are sections about project information model referred to as PIM for the delivery phase of the project and a set information model AIM for the operational phase of the project. ISO 19650 Part 1 categorizes stages of maturity of information management, standard layer, technology layer, information layer, and business layer. As you can see in the illustration, the benefits of collaboration in a BIM project increases as we move from a standard layer to a business layer that moves beyond the standards and fully incorporates digitally supported and enabled process. The coordination between architectural, MEP, mechanical, electrical, plumbing and structural building information and the creation of a federated model of the building information is another guideline presented in ISO 19650 Part 1. BIM standard ISO 19650 Part 2 is focused on the delivery phase of the assets. The most important sections of this document discuss information management during the delivery phase of assets, information management process during the delivery phase of assets, and BIM execution plan. BIM execution plan is a contractual document prepared to address information requirements and project information and documentation milestones. BIM standard ISO 19650 part 2 presents a conceptual model of interfaces between parties and teams for the purpose of information management. BIM standard ISO 19650 part 3 is focused on the operational phase of the assets. It gives guidelines about asset information standard, production methods and procedures, shared resources, common data environment, team delivery capacities and capabilities, and has detailed sections on BIM execution plan for the operational phase of the asset. I hope you have found this video informative. Feel free to use the comment section to share your comments and suggestions or ask any questions. Don't forget to subscribe to our Built Evolve channel if you are planning to update your digital built environment and BIM knowledge. Take care.